I've read an interesting article about Abraham Maslow and his theory of hierarchy of needs. Maslow argued that the human motives are organized in a systematic arrangement of needs, which is placed according to priority. He goes on by saying that when a person manages to satisfy the level of needs, a level of needs, this, this then activates the desire to the next level. Come to think about it, this reminds me of a lady I know. Let me tell you the story of Caroline. Caroline started on a first level after she moved on her own. This level is physiological needs, which covers the basic needs like hunger, thirst, a place to sleep, and so on. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm tired of this life. I can't do this. One slice of bread. What am I going to eat for the rest of the week? And this water. I can't do this anymore. I have to change my life. I can't do this anymore. When Caroline successfully satisfied her hunger and thirst, she realized that she now needs safety and security in her life. This covers areas like a job, a good house, and so on. Hello. I'm fine, thank you, yourself. No, I mean, I've just been busy with work. It's, it's really been a big load. Yeah. No, I was, I was, I was in Cambridge last week for the meeting. No, I, I was going to stop by, but, but I really, I had so much work. I, I didn't have enough time to still go down the hill. Yeah. No, no, my mom, no, she was here. She was here um, last week. Because she helped me with um, my curtains. and Yeah, because I moved in. Yeah, I moved in last week. Yeah, so she helped me with all of that. No, no, I was going to make it turn by you. Because I was there for the meeting. But like I said, I had so much work. So I didn't get enough time to still do that. Yeah. Ah, no, it's fine. Like I said, it, it's, the new house, it's nice and all of that. But um, it does become lonely at times, you know. And I'm getting older, so I don't know. But I'm I'm so busy. Like, I don't get time to go out to anything like that. But I've, I've been thinking about it. Yeah. You know, because starting a family and all of that. Yeah. But, ah, man, you know, work has just been so active because it's meetings every day and conferences and all of that. So, it, yeah. Ah, no, no problem, man. No, but when I'm off, I'll definitely let you know and then we can do something. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the call, man. Okay, then. Bye. Caroline soon discovered that she's alone and needed someone in her life. She needed love, support from friends and a social life. Thank you so much for coming. You know, okay, yeah, I've been struggling for two weeks to get hold of you already. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. to make an appointment because um, I wanted you to meet my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, we've been together I think now a year. Today. Yes. Yeah, we've been together for a year and um, We've had some challenges, you know, okay. so I just basically called you to ask for some advice okay. and, you know, guidelines for the future. Yes, yes, yes. And so on. I appreciate, I appreciate, guys, what you've done for calling me. Uh, it shows me that you have you are committed to what you are doing. What is your future plans? Mm. How can I say that, yes, is future plans. Okay. You plan mm -hmm. to get married, maybe a couple of eight months, six months from now. Mm -hmm. You are engaged. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I know that. But yeah, I'm very much in love with this lady. And okay. Married. Is there anything that you are doing together, like young couples uh, outside? Yeah. Social. Ah, yeah. uh, we just go to the gym. Okay. Yeah. Maybe three times a week to the gym. That's it. Yeah, okay. but you know, it's such a struggle because I feel like I'm not losing any weight, and um, all these other friends are there, you know, and the girlfriends and all of that, and. They like progressing so quickly, okay. like losing weight and all of that. So I don't actually feel like going anymore because um, I don't know. Like I just 
I feel like I'm not losing weight, like so I feel like I'm wasting my yeah. time, wasting my money, you know. Caroline had love and support, but she still struggled with her self-esteem. The next level for her was to build on her self-esteem so that she can accept herself just as she is. Nothing, baby. But you're laughing. No, man, it's just the guys at the gym. Oh, what are they saying? They are saying when you're on the treadmill at the gym, mm -hmm. you look like a pink elephant. A pink elephant? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yes, baby. Oh, man. That's the right, man. Okay, la. Okay, la. Once Caroline covered the first four stages, she was now ready to become a self-actualized person where you are able to generally help and support others. Where she is able to see the beauty in the everyday things around us and still enjoy it. I'm fine and you? No, I'm good. Nice to see you. Come inside. Come inside. How can I help? I was just passing. Yeah. Uh, I thought about you that we have this project that we have. Oh, okay. Whether you can come and help us also. Yes, no problem. That's my, is, it, is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow. Nine yeah. o'clock. Nine o'clock. No problem. Okay. That will be great. I'll be there. Caroline is truly inspiration to us all. The question I have for you is where are you currently in your life? Do you truly care for the people around you? For the little things in life? Or is there still something you need to work on? <laughs>